Sheetal here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really interesting to show you all and guess what? It's a spy pen. I came across this pen in an online website and I was very curious to see if it would actually work. And I thought even you guys would be interested to see that. So I've ordered it and this is the packing in which I got my pen. It's a simple white packet and there's actually nothing written on it. The packing is also not that good. It costs about 1800 rupees but they didn't even provide a box for it. Okay guys, now let's get started with the video. Let me open the packet and show you all the items we've got in it. There's a user manual, make sure to read it once as it has the complete information about the product like how to record a video or change video mode to photo mode and many more. A USB cable, it's a regular USB cable for charging and data transfer. And here's the pen, let me remove it from this cover and show you. Wow, it looks beautiful. It's quite heavy compared to a regular pen. It weighs about 99 grams. The build quality of it also looks good. It's made of plastic and it has a nice gloss finish over it. You can see the camera over here. It shoots photos in 2560 by 1440 resolution and videos in full HD. This is the LED status indicator and this one is the reset button. If you rotate it here, the refill comes out and you can use it as a normal pen. Here if you slide this up, your camera gets hidden and no one will know that it's a spy camera. That is so cool! Ok, now let me open this pen and show you. At the bottom part of the pen, we've got the USB and SD card slot. The 1 and 2 on the USB means the mode in which your pen is. 1 is the photo mode and 2 is the video mode. By default, it comes in video mode and this is where you place your micro SD card. Let me show you the top part of the pen. You can just see the refill, there's nothing else over here. Now let me turn it on and show you. Ok, the orange light is flashing, I guess that means the charging is low. So first I'll charge it and then continue with my video. Hey guys, I'm back. I've charged it and now I'll show you how to shoot photos or videos with this pen. If you long press this button, the LED indicator turns blue and flashes twice, which means the recording has started. Right now it's in the mode 2 which is the video mode and in this mode while recording the LED indicator is off so that no one will know that you're shooting secretly. If you short press the button, the LED indicator turns yellow which means the recording has stopped and it is in standby mode. In this mode if you again press the button then the blue indicator flashes twice and now it's in the continuous recording mode. Here it saves the video files for every 15 minutes and keeps recording until the battery is used up. Also just remember one thing guys, while changing the modes from one to other give it sufficient time to process or else it will hang and sometimes the video won't get saved also. To take pictures, first you have to change the mode from 2 to 1 and in that mode if you short press the top button then the blue indicator flashes once, which means you have clicked a photo. So these were all the modes in it and now I'll show you the videos and photo samples I've shot using this spy pen. The video quality was ok for such a tiny spy camera. This spy camera shoots videos in 1080p resolution and the detail in the video was nice. The colors were good, the contrast was ok, everything was nice. But on my testing I found out that the white balance was accurate only in good lighting condition. And when the lighting was poor, the white balance was shifting and was giving a wrong result. Also the frame rate in the video kept on changing. It was around 15 to 20 frames per second. On the overall, the video quality was ok for a spy camera, you can easily identify the subject in the video. And right now I am recording in this spy pen. I am on my terrace and this is how it looks. This tiny little pen can record both audio and video and I feel that's amazing. It can shoot videos in 1080p, this is how the video quality looks. Do let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. To charge this pen you have to first unscrew it and plug in the USB cable. Then the orange indicator will flash constantly if the battery is low and once it's charged the LED turns orange. Coming to the battery life, it has a 280mAh rechargeable lithium ion battery. The charging time was about 1 to 1 and a half hour and the battery lasted for about 65 to 70 minutes on a continuous usage. 
So that was my unboxing and review of this pipe pen. The build quality is good and it looks very attractive but the battery life was average. The picture quality was also nice and the video quality was okay for the price. It is really a fun thing to play with and this pen can really be useful at times. It costs about 1890 rupees and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. That's it for today guys. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a video. See you in my next one.